Today in the kitchen, Yvonne and I are making an easy, flavorful vegan chana masala that you are sure to love. With the oven on medium high and our pan preheated, we're laying down some avocado oil and then to that we're putting in two cups of diced carrots. I'm sprinkling about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt over the top of the carrots and now we're going to saute them until they're almost fork tender. I'll be putting all of these ingredients in my description box below so you don't need to worry about trying to copy them down now. As you can see to the right of the pan, we have some rice cooking, so you just wanna prepare your favorite rice. We often enjoy basmati rice when we're having Indian flavored foods. Now that my carrots are almost completely tender, I'm adding a teaspoon and a half of garam masala, and I don't measure, I just sprinkle across the top. You can see I have a little bit of trouble with this because the type I buy is really finely ground, and so it's a bit tough to get it out of that bottle. Now I'm adding a teaspoon and a half of turmeric. I don't want my spices to burn, so I'm immediately adding 14 and a half ounces of diced canned tomatoes. Our final ingredient is drained garbanzo beans, and that's a 15 and a half ounce can that I'm pouring in there, and I have drained and rinsed them. A quick tip about garbanzo beans that I was told by a naturopathy. If you have a sensitive stomach and you think that garbanzo beans are irritating to your stomach, try popping them out of their peel and putting the peel aside. A lot of people who have sensitive stomachs can be bothered by the peel of the garbanzo bean. So if I found if I just squeeze it with my fingers, it pops out of that peel and I can throw it away. We don't peel them anymore, but we did go through a stage where we were doing that extra little step. Now you'll bring all your ingredients to a boil. Once everything is bubbling together, we put a lid on the pan and we turn our heat down to low and we're gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then it's ready to serve. Look at that, it's beautiful. Yvonne is plating hers up by putting down the cooked rice and then she'll put the masala on top. We cook our rice by doing a two to one ratio, two cups of water to every one cup of rice. We bring the water to a boil and then we add our rice. We cover the pan, put it on low and cook for about 20 minutes until the water has all dissipated. There it is, all ready to eat, and we find that this recipe serves four people. It's easy, it's flavorful, it's vegan, it's comfort food, so I hope you enjoy it. And as always, I hope you know I love you and God loves you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.